You have to watch this. It's terrifying. Three geyser and volcano eruption from steamboat geyser in Yellowstone, Kilauea in Hawaii, and Etna in Italy. Scientists across the globe are on edge after a rare sequence of volcanic and seismic events unfolded almost simultaneously across three different continents. What began as another unpredictable burst at Yellowstone's notorious steamboat, Geyser quickly spiraled into a chain of geological disturbances that experts now fear could signal deeper unrest beneath the Earth's crust. Yellowstone Steamboat Geyser erupts amid underground quakes. On the morning of October 17th, Visitors near Norris Geyser Basin in Yellowstone National Park were startled when Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, roared back to life with another violent eruption. Unlike past steam and water outbursts, this one was marked by strong tremors detected just minutes beforehand. Seismographs recorded a rapid swarm of shallow earthquakes beneath the basin, tiny but tightly clustered. While the eruption itself blasted jets more than 300 feet into the air, what rattled scientists was the timing of the quake activity, suggesting stress changes in the hydrothermal system at the edge of the Yellowstone caldera. Officials at the USGS confirmed the event but have not ruled out deeper magma-related pressurization beneath the region. One geophysicist described it bluntly, when a geyser erupts after a quake swarm we pay attention. Hawaii, Kilauea volcano erupts again, episode 34 rekindled. Only hours after Yellowstone's strange sequence, Hawaii's Kalawea volcano awoke again on October 17th, marking the continuation of what observers are calling Episode 34, one of the most active eruptive phases since 2018. Two vents along the crater rim reignited, ejecting dazzling fountains of lava that lit the night skies over the Big Island. The glowing curtains of molten rock flowed into the central pit of Halema Uma'u crater, but what stunned scientists was the speed of the reactivation. Episode 34 had paused earlier in the month, leading some volcanologists to believe the system had entered a rest phase. Instead, fresh magma surged upward with almost no warning, giving rise to fountains estimated at over 1,000 feet high. Gas emissions spiked, tremor signals intensified, and deformation instruments detected a new pulse of pressure beneath the summit. Etna, Italy, the younger crack starts ejecting lava. While the Pacific and North America were reeling, Mount Etna in Sicily revealed its own unsettling development. Near the southeastern slopes, a surface fissure known locally as the Yanga Crack began to emit fresh tongues of lava, accompanied by harmonic tremor and ash discharge. Residents in nearby towns reported a roaring sound from the crack overnight, followed by red glow streaking across the darkened volcanic ridge. The INGV 
Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, has raised its alert level as lava escapes through the new fracture system, hinting at shifting pressure inside Etna's magma storage zones. Scientists are closely tracking sulfur dioxide emissions, which sharply increased as the crack widened and glowed with fresh ejection. Are these events connected? Experts are divided. What has triggered concern is not just one eruption, but three separate volcanic events occurring in different hemispheres within the same time window, paired with Yellowstone's localized quakes. Some researchers believe this could be coincidence. Volcanic systems act independently, shaped by their own tectonic contexts. But others warn that fluctuations in the planet's mantle circulation, variations in gravitational and tidal stress, and global seismic resonance may be subtly linking volcanic awakenings in ways science still struggles to model. One volcanologist from Italy remarked, when three restless giants stir at once, Yellowstone, Kalawia and Etna, we stop calling it random and start asking why. Growing scientific tension. Yellowstone's hydrothermal explosions are being re-evaluated for deeper connections to magma uplift. Kailawia's sudden resumption has shattered assumptions about episode 34 ending. Etna's fissure eruption could mark the start of a broader flank destabilization event. Emergency agencies in the US, Italy and Hawaii have stepped up monitoring. Satellite thermal imaging SO2 plume tracking and deformation mapping are now running continuously. Some scientists warn that if additional earthquakes occur beneath Yellowstone or Etna intensifies its lava shedding, the October 17th events could mark the beginning of a global volcanic cascade episode.